Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're continuing with 2.6. We're going to be using the primary trig ratios which we know are sine, cos, and tan. Um, we're picking up at example 2. We're going to solve a right triangle given one side and one acute angle. So in this triangle we know that we have angle F is obviously 90 degrees and we have E is, uh, angle E is 25 degrees. So the first measure to find, because we want to find all the measures here, solve this triangle means find everything that's missing. So we're missing two sides and an angle. So the easiest thing to find here is angle D. And angle D is just going to be given by 90 degrees minus uh, angle E. So that would be minus 25 degrees. So 90 degrees minus 25 degrees. And that would equal, oh, sorry. And that would equal... obviously 65 degrees okay and it says the nearest tenth where necessary so here it's not necessary to put it in that's what it means by that it's not necessary to put 65 doesn't zero right um you could if you wanted to but again like i said it's not necessary in that case so 65 or 65 decimal zero either one's fine but it says where necessary so i'm just going to leave it at that next work we're going to do is find the um one of the other sides so we can't use pythagorean theorem just yet because we don't have two known side measures, right? We need to, we need to have those uh, side lengths. But we do have one of them. We do have a given angle. So I'm going to do this based on what we have here. Um, so if I'm focusing on uh, E, I have the opposite, and I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So we know opposite of hypotenuse is the sine ratio. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the sine ratio in this case. So I've written in the sine ratio here, and then we'll uh, copy it and we'll fill in what we need. All right, so we know that the sine, if we're looking for the unknown angle, okay, we'll use 25. If we're using the given angle E here, so that'll be sine of theta, which is sine of 25. The opposite side is 5. All right, so we can substitute the opposite of angle 25, which is 5 here, and the hypotenuse, the length from D to E, um, that is actually unknown. And I'm going to call that F, lower F, because it's opposite of angle F. So the hypotenuse is lower F. Okay? So now we're going to rearrange this formula. Remember a little trick I showed you? Um, you can rearrange it again, but if we're doing this, that just means F and the sine 25 can literally uh, switch locations. So I'm going to cut that out and make that the denominator here. And I did show those steps. And another question, and there's there's what you have. F is equal to 5 divided by the sine of 25. It's that simple. I did the rearranging in a previous video. I'm not going to do that here. Um, you can take my word for it, or you can multiply both sides by F. Then you get F sine 25 equals 5, and then you divide both sides by sine 25, and you end up with the same result. Okay? So that's up to yourself. So when I do that on my calculator, I'm going to punch that in remember it's 5 divided by the sine of 25 so 5 divided by the sine of 25 degrees make sure your calculator is in degrees and i get 11 decimal 83100 so 11 decimal 831007 and so on i just i i don't i just take some a uh, number of decimal places so this is where the nearest tenth is necessary um and remember, leave your units to the end. So we know that side F is equal to the 3, uh, leaves the 8 at an 8, and the units are centimeters. So your final answer is side F or side DE, um, whatever way you want to look at it, their, their equivalent, is equal to 11 decimal 8. Okay? Now we have to find the, um, uh, the, uh, the side EF or lower D. Again, you can do whatever you want here. I'm going to use a, uh, a trig ratio just so we get the practice. You could use Pythagorean theorem. It's up to yourself. All right. So if I'm using, um, in this case, I'm looking for uh, side FE. There's a few different right ways you can approach it. I'll, uh, I'm going to use the given values. So if I'm talking D here, that means 5 is adjacent and the hypotenuse opposite. All right, so we're using the uh, cos ratio this time, right? Okay. Okay.
Okay, you can use the coast if you're looking for adjacent, then you have that. Or you can use tan. Tan's another option because um, we have the given information. So if we're talking tan 25, we're talking opposite over uh, adjacent, it doesn't make a difference. Okay, so I'll use the tan ratio. Not that it makes a difference. Again, there's a number of ways you can approach this. I'm picking tan here because I know this ang the given angle is 25. Again, you could use 65 and use a different tan rate. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, and the opposite of 25 is 5. And I know the adjacent side from E to F, we'll call that lower D, that's actually what we're looking for here, right? Again, completely up to you, all right? So uh, this rearranged is similar to the last question, right? So the D and the tan 25 will change spots. Copy that. Remember, so this divides out. And the D multiplies up. It's that easy. So D is going to be simply equal to 5 divided by tan 25. Remember, I showed that in the video, and I showed that on the on the board when we rearranged that formula, and we saw where that came from. So that means that uh, D is equal to. Go to your calculators. Put in 5 divided by tan 25. 5 divided by tan 25. And what's nice about it, you know this answer has to be less than 11.8 because 11.8 is the, um, the hypotenuse. So if it wasn't, um, you knew something would be up. You get 10.722, that, 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 that's all we need. So our final answer is going to be D is equal to the 2 le uh, rounds of 7 and leaves it at a 7. So we get 10.7 centimeters. Okay, so we can write a sentence if you want. Um, e to F is approximately um, 10 decimal 7 centimeters. And you can say DE or you can say hypotenuse is approximately 11 decimal 8 centimeters and angle D. Angle D is equal to. It's not approximate there. It's actually bang on. Um, there you are. All right. So that's an information. That's all the information that we have. We found all the measures. We know the uh, other three. We know that side DF is five. We know angle F is ninety, and we know angle E is twenty-five. So we have all six, right? Um, that's it for example two. Um, then there's a check your understanding that goes right along with that. And there are the answers provided. There's angle J, line GH or lower J, and line HJ or lower G, the hypotenuse. It's up to you. Okay. So now we're going to uh, do example three. Example three uh, has solving a problem using trigonometric ratios. We have a small table. It's in the shape of a regular octagon. So regular octagon means that all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. Uh, the distance from one vertex to the opposite vertex measuring through the center of the table is approximately 30 centimeters. There's a strip of wood uh, veneer around the edge of the table. What is the length of this veneer to the nearest centimeter? So what we need to do is we need to find the length of one veneer. And then once we find so you can see in the corner there, what I've done is I've break it, broken down um, your triangles for you. So the first one you can see is it cuts the triangle into 45 degrees. Um, 45 degrees comes from uh, your polygon, all polygons, this with the center of went all the way around is 360 degrees. So since there's eight sides, you just take your 360 and divide it by eight sides and you'll get your 45 degrees. We do a little more than that in grade with trig in grade um, 11. Um, and then if you were to break that and drop a perpendicular line through here, sorry about that interruption. So um, if we drop that perpendicular line uh, from A down to C, that divides this isosceles triangle completely in half, which creates a right angle triangle, which has angle two, uh, 22 decimal 5 and the hypotenuse of 15. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we'll calculate the... Um, length from C to D here. 
So when you're looking at the triangle, since we have this angle 22.5, we're looking for CD, which is opposite. We know the hypotenuse 15. That's going to give us the sine ratio, as you see from, from the side here. Okay? So from here, what you want to do is you want to uh, fill in the information that you have. We know that we have 22.5 degrees. The opposite side is what we're looking for, and you can call that the length from C to D, as you can see in your diagram that I've created for you. And the uh, hypotenuse is obviously a uh, length of 15 centimeters. So in order to calculate uh, CD, CD is going to equal to, it's going to be equal to, oh, sorry, sometimes that goes bold on me, I'm not sure, and black, there we go, we're back to the red color, thank you. So CD is going to equal to 15 multiplied by the sine of 22.5, all right? So that'll give us the uh, length of CD. You can calculate that on your calculator. I'm just going to carry it with me throughout, so it'll be exact. But you can uh, calculate it on your calculator, and you will get 5.74, and that's okay. Okay. Um, next, we want to know the length from B to D. Since these are obviously the same length, C to D and B to C are the same length, so therefore B to D is obviously the same length. So B, D, grab the equal sign just so it'll work for me. So that means the length from, so B to D is simply equal to 2 multiplied by CD. All right. So B to D is simply equal to 2 multiplied by, and the length of CD is obviously 15 sine. So because we have a coefficient of 15 out front here, we can simply multiply it by the 2. And we get. Uh, 2 times 15, which is 30, and then you just carry the sign 22.5. So that's going to be the length from B to D. And remember, since we have eight sides all the way around, that's going to be the veneer. The veneer is coming along the edges here. All right. Um, that's just like a, a covering or a case to make it look very nice. Okay. So um, the veneer, since there's eight of them, we're just going to multiply this by eight, and you're on your way. Okay. So the uh, length. I'll just say the length, and what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the length of the veneer, okay? So the length of the veneer is going to be equal to, because there's eight sides, multiply by uh, length of BD. That's how you calculate that, okay? And so the length of the veneer is going to equal that, multiply by BD, which is going to be 30 sine 22.5. So the length of the veneer is going to equal, lost my L, going to equal 240 sine 225, or 22.5, sorry. So the length of the veneer is equal to, and we'll finally take the calculation now on our calculator. It's going to equal 240 sine 22.5, close your bracket, and you get 91.844, and so on. So our final step is going to be the length of the veneer is equal to, well, check your rounding. It says the veneer is centimeters, so that would be 92 centimeters because the eight rounds are one up to a two so the length of the veneer is approximately the length of the veneer so the sentence the length of the veneer is approximately approximately 92 centimeters Okay. And then there's a check your understanding that goes along with that as well. And some homework questions that are located on page 111, numbers 4 and 12. All right, so that's it for 2.6. We're going to finish off the chapter in the next video on 2.0, on the next videos, I should say, on 2.7. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll uh, see you again, everybody again soon. Thank you.